Hello, hello. Okay, I am making this video because I have been having technology issues and so I can't access Canvas on my computer to share with you during our Zoom meeting. So this is this is going to be an introductory to our Canvas page or our Canvas uh, course. So this is the home page. I am in student view. So this is this should be what you see when you log in. So when you come to the home page, it should say English 10. If there's any announcements that I have for you, they're going to be right up here. And then once you scroll down, you will see these icons. They should be the same, if not exactly the same or similar to um, what you would see on the home page of your other courses because we all use the same templates. So we've got modules, Zoom, and about. And this is our Zoom schedule. So that's aligned with the schedule that the school has set in place for this year. So this is your class time. I put the full class time. We're not we're not going to have Zoom for a full however long this is, hour and a half. I just put it to show you the block of time that we have for each period. Down here, though, is important. You're going to want to see that you can click on these. So if you're in period two, Tuesday, Thursday cohort, you click on this link. These links are going to be the same for the whole um, definitely the first nine weeks, if not the whole semester. So you're going to want to come here every time we have a meeting, which is twice a week for you. So you just find your correct cohort and your correct class period, and it should bring you right to our Zoom. So that's always, always going to be on the home page. If you come over here to syllabus, this is our syllabus. If this for some reason doesn't download for you, you can click this link right here and it'll pop up with the same thing. So this is our syllabus. Um, our class overview is English 10 is a sophomore level English class that focuses on analyzing written arguments through deconstruction and we're also going to craft our own written, uh, written arguments. And we will talk more about this, but honors this year are going to be embedded. And by that, we're not having a set up dedicated class just for honors. So if you are interested in honors, communicate that to me and we can talk about what that looks like. But it's not required, though it will be embedded. My contact information right here and the, our classroom if we ever get back to school. Um, required class materials, you're always going to need your Chromebook pen or pencil, and a growth mindset, which we'll dive into in a little bit. And these are just some pretty simple four class expectations that I have for you. We're going to be respectful and lean into empathy. Growth mindset, again, mistakes are a part of learning. We're going to talk about that more next week, but that's one of our expectations for the whole year. You need to take care of yourself mentally, emotionally, and physically because if you're not your best self, then learning is going to be really hard. I know that's the same for me. And lastly, I just want to communicate that I'm here for you. I want to do everything that I can to support you. So I am here. If you have any questions, just please feel free to reach out to me. I want to help. And then we have academic dishonesty. This should be something you've seen throughout the years. It will not be tolerated, and if there is a situation that arises, we will deal with it in the appropriate consequences. Technology, we are going to be using Canvas all year, and that's where you're going to find all of the announcements, the assignments, all the resources that you need are going to be in Canvas. Grades, I'll let you look at that on your own, but this is the breakdown of our grades, and we can, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so attendance. It's going to be a little bit different this year. We're going to be taking attendance through your advisory class, if I'm correct. So you can read through this and we will talk about it more, but these are some of the ways that you will be counted as present. And then for late work or makeup work, I'm always pretty relaxed about this because I know that life is hard sometimes, and especially this year, especially this year. I don't want you to stress yourself out or push yourself over the edge if you something comes up and you just can't submit an assignment on time. Just talk to me. I am very reasonable and we can work it out together. So all, all I'm going to say about that is just communicate with me and we'll figure it out. Okay, so if we go over here to Zoom, this is another place that you could find links. It might look a little bit overwhelming because it's going to show you 
every single Zoom meeting that we have scheduled for the next nine weeks. So if this is too overwhelming for you, just remember you can go back to the home page, scroll down to the bottom, and this is all you need. This is the same link we're going to be using for the whole term. But that's there if you like that option too. Okay, modules. So a module, if you haven't heard it described like this, this is how I would think about it. It's basically the agenda. This is where you're going to find out what you need to do during the week. So if you think about being physically present at school, you walk into the classroom and you see the agenda for the day either on the screen or it's written on the whiteboard. That's basically what this is. But you get to click on things and it'll take you to where you need to go specifically. And then right here where it says synchronous in class, asynchronous out of class, I'm going to be consistent with having it be labeled like this the whole term. So synchronous means in class. These are the days that we are meeting. So it's your cohort. So if you are Tuesday and Thursday, your synchronous days are Tuesday and Thursday. If it's not, then you're the opposite. You're Wednesday, Friday. Asynchronous is just the opposite days. So if you're Tuesday, Thursday, then your asynchronous days are Wednesday and Friday. So I know it might be tricky and hard to kind of wrap your mind around, but you'll get the hang of it. So anything that falls under the category of synchronous is going to be something that we talk about and do some part of it during our live Zoom meetings. And if we can't get to all of it during our Zoom meeting, you'll have to complete it right afterward. But that's what we're going to be doing on our live days. And then the asynchronous is what you will be doing when we're not meeting. So the opposite days. So let's explore this a little bit. So this is the about. This is a page that you can come back to and I'll show you how. So this just gives you some information about me, um, where I went to school, my office hours, and my email. And then I want to touch on this. Also, the syllabus is right here. So for my own personal self-care, I have a rule that I do not look at my email. I don't do any work after school hours are done, which would be 4 p.m. Now, I know that there can be emergencies that happen. There are things that pop up. And I will say that I try to check my email just once after school hours, just in case there's some sort of emergency that was communicated to me. But the reason I have this set in place is because it helps me take care of myself physically, mentally, and um, emotionally. And it doesn't really apply this year because it's virtual, but if you were in my class and it was just completely on campus, I would tell you that you would never have homework because if I get to go home and not have to do anything, then you shouldn't either. So that's um, my philosophy behind this. I know you probably don't have many teachers, if any, that do this, but this is just something that I try to hold myself accountable to. So if you send me an email and it's after 4 p.m., I probably won't respond right away unless it's an emergency. So that's that. You can read that more if you'd like. So we're going to go back to modules. That was the about page that I linked right here. So course intro. I'm not going to read this through. I'm going to have you look at it on your own time. But this just describes what English 10 is. Why does it matter? And this is specifically our agenda for this week. So that was the course intro, getting to know me, Mrs. Albritton. So this is a little graphic that I made. It has some facts about me, my contact information, and this has a link uh, to a video that I made that where I'm just talking about our classroom expectations, which are the things that I covered in our syllabus. Okay, so this is gonna be our first assignment. This is a Google form. If you haven't had any experience with this, it's, no, well, it'll pop up when it shows, but I'm in student view, that's why it doesn't show. It's a uh, form that you're gonna fill out and it, it's it got some really basic questions. It's just gonna help me get to know you better. Some of you I know because I had you last year in Haas class, but some of you I didn't. So that'll really help me and that's worth five points. And then asynchronous, this is what you would do when we are not together. So those of you that I'm meeting today, Tuesday, or sorry, today's Thursday, the 17th, this is what you would do tomorrow on Friday. 
So this is just a discussion. This is to help you get to know people and share more information about yourself so we can just build upon the friendships and relationships we're making. So that is it for this week. I have more stuff in my view down here, but I haven't published it yet. So this I'm going to not publish anything more than just one week ahead because I want you to just focus on the week that we're in. So this will always, always be found in modules, which are down here on the drop down menu. Okay, last thing, pages. So this is the home page and it'll always bring you to this when you click pages. If you go here and click view all pages, it'll take you here. So you can see the about, we already viewed that, that's up here. This is just kind of like a box that we organize all the pages, the different pages. This is our home page, course intro. They're not assignments, they're just pages with information on them. And this one right here is something very important. I hope it'll become useful for you. So it's called Q&A and you come here. So I designed this as something that will help you be able to hopefully find the answers to your questions that you need before trying to contact me. So especially this year with everything that's going on, there are high likelihoods that I'm going to have more than one person ask me the same question. Why isn't my Chromebook working? Why did we not have school this day? Was this assignment due this day? Questions that are asked by more than one person, if I get them a lot, I'm going to put them here. So like we talked about just a second ago, question, why isn't Mrs. Albritton answering my email? Answer, when school hours are done by 4 p.m., I, Mrs. Albritton, shut down my computer. So this will be able to help you get quick answers. And if it doesn't, if you can't find your answer here, just email me. But I'm going to try and update this weekly so that you can have easy access to questions. Move myself up here. An emergency came up last night and I couldn't finish my assignment on time. Will Mrs. Albritton be upset? No, I won't be upset. Life happens and this is a very weird year. So just communicate with me to let me know. So once again, this is on pages. So if you go to pages, it'll always bring you to the home page and then just click up here to view all pages and it'll show you everything that's here. Okay, last thing. I'm not sure if this will pop up the way you should see it because I'm on student view. Okay, this is grades. So Canvas is supposed to be connected to Synergy. So whatever I enter in Synergy should show up in Canvas and vice versa. So you can see the student orientation discussion and the get to know me Google form right here. Five points. Once you complete that, it'll have the score here. So if you want to know where your grades are at, what's going on, you just go down here to grades. Okay, last thing, I'm just gonna go up here. So dashboard, hmm, we're in student view. Okay, well, let's do this. So dashboard is probably the main way that I would go about finding your courses. So this will look a little different for me because I'm in teacher mode, but this is just the best way to access it. So you go English 10, and it'll bring you right back to where we just were. You can also go here and click on courses and it'll just show you all of them, but that's kind of a little overwhelming. So I would always go to dashboard. And it should pop up just like that. Okay, that is it. Uh, if you have any questions about our specific Canvas course, let me know if you're having troubles. Oh, where was the Q&A page again? Just let me know and I'll help you find it. Um, yeah, I hope this was helpful.